Done, sir. Yes, Krishanjali, start. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I welcome Dr. Uh, M. Deshmukh, sir, President of Microbiology Society India. Today's speaker, Dr. Bharti Gude Vadekar, ma'am, and all other uh, uh, scientists and professors uh, participated or joined all over in, from all over India and all other participants. So today's PhD webinar is arranged on occasion of birth anniversary of late Dr. Smita Dharmadikari, ma'am, a guide of uh, today's speaker, Dr. Bharti Badekar, ma'am. So in the remembrance of late Dr. Uh, Smita Dharmadikari, ma'am, uh, we have arranged this webinar that is on uh, today's uh, 29th September. So before we proceed, uh, I would like to request uh, Vakte sir to say a few words about uh, uh, late Dr. Dharmadikari, ma'am. हेलो वक्ते सर हेलो हेलो वक्ते सर हाँ यस यू स्टार्ट वक्ते सर प्लीज ओके गुड इवनिंग वन एंड ऑल ऑनरेबल प्रेसिडेंट डॉक्टर एम दिशमुख सर स्पीकर डॉक्टर भारती uh great day today that uh, we all are celebrating the birth anniversary of uh, late uh, dr dharmadi kari professor at government institute of science aurangabad as i know that uh, i was associated with her for more than two to three decades as such in the subject of microbiology at aurangabad she was really a genuine microbiologist hardcore microbiologist and practicing the subject in toto i remember her work uh, associated with enzymology was very great and uh, on such occasion again a uh, good topic of uh, dr bharti on enzyme has been arranged i congratulate the organizers also and also thank the organizers that they, get, they have given me an opportunity to express my great uh, gratitude towards dr dharmadika uh, thank you all of you and uh, i switch on to Dr. Bharti or the speaker as such. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Now I would like to introduce today's speaker, Dr. Bharti Vadekar, ma'am. Currently, ma'am, uh, working as an assistant professor of microbiology and IQAC coordinator at Thakur Shamnaran Degree College, Kandivali, Mumbai. Ma'am has completed her uh, MSc from Sardar Patel College of Uh, college Chandrapur, RTM Nagpur University. She had completed her PhD from Dr. Baba Saheb Ambedkar Marathwada University, Aurangabad, in two thousand nineteen. Also, she was the first GST WS uh, fellow in two thousand fourteen to eighteen Department of Microbiology from uh, Dr. Baba Saheb Ambedkar Marathwada University. Ma'am has published one chapter. Three books, forty-three research articles in various national and international journals. Also, she has participated, attended, and organized various national, international conferences, webinars, and workshops. Her three Germany patent published and granted. She had also received various awards. Uh, I would like to mention that Global Youth Icon Award by International Council for Education, Research, and Training. at new delhi global best teacher award of 2022 indian women talent award google scholar award from institute of google scholar bangalore a uh, most inspiring innovative award innovator award of uh, 2022 so ma'am i uh, welcome you uh, once again and uh, now i request you to start your presentation Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, ma'am. 
to for giving me the opportunity to deliver my phd topic at the time of my birth uh, my guide's birth anniversary really thank you uh, my guide is a very uh, amazing and prominent personality and uh, really she is very hard worker and uh, always guide me help uh, help me everything and she is uh, everything uh, no one replace her in my life so i uh, i plan uh, for this uh, opportunity and uh, i talked to the uh, am deshmukh sir and he gave me the opportunity really thank you sir so now i'd start my topic uh, firstly i sh share my screen is it is it visible yes yes it yes. is visible yes ma'am okay okay so i am going to present a topic to evaluate antibacterial activity of bactrocin b25 produced by marine lactobacillus pentosus b25 and its medicinal applications Uh, which was work under the guidance of Dr. Smita Dharma Dikari, and why choose this topic? Well, what are the date and significance of this topic? So, multiple resistance bacteria have emerging problem in the world of the medical treatment. The many of the researchers suggested that lack of the knowledge in application of antibiotics and its resistance development, lack of awareness among the public, limitations in discovery and development of the novel classes of antimicrobial agent. Hence, there is a more urgent need for the novel and alternative source of antimicrobial agents for the control of MDI microbes. What are the bactrocins? Why we choose uh, produce uh, bactrocin? Bactrocins are the very promising source of antimicrobial agents and which gives the antibacterial activity against a pathogen in a nano concentration. Then application of bactrocin is a food bioprecipitative. The introduction of modern technologies and safety concepts reported that the number of food board illnesses and intoxications are still increasing. The preservation of the food by natural and microbiological methods may be a satisfactory approach to reduce the incidence of the food board illnesses, solving economic losses of raw materials and the food products. Uh, these are the needs and significance of this topic so chose this topic then introductions what are the probiotic bactrocin and their mode of actions probiotics are live microorganisms and their products are beneficial to the health and their workings are effects are management of the lactose intolerance improvement of human system prevention of colon cancer reduction of triglyceride plasma and cholesterol concentration lowering blood pressure reducing inflammation reduction of allergic symptoms, beneficial effects, bone density and stability, reduction of H. pylori infection, inhibition of pathogenic microorganisms. Uh, what are the bactrocin? Bactrocins are the uh, ribosomally produced small peptides uh, that is working as an antimicrobial polypeptides and a, uh, one of the proteins. They are produced by microorganisms and normally work as an alternative to the antibiotic. There are the three types, type 1, type 2, and type 3, depend on their presence of the antibiotic group and uh, producing from the different bacteria. Then mode of action are alternation of enzymatic activity, inhibition of spore germination, inactivation of anomic carries through the formation of selective and non-selective pores, target the cell envelope of pathogenic bacteria. So objectives of that topic, isolation and screening, identification of bactrocin producing microorganisms, which has uh, which having the um, probiotic nature from marine environment, then molecular conformation of plasmid encoded marker, optimization of cultural condition of selected strain of bactericin production, then optimization of bioprocess parameters for enhanced production of bactrocin using the statistical design, then scale-up studies by batch and fed batch fermentation, production purification and characterization, then quality control analysis in the quality control analysis, which checks the LD50, MIC, toxicity assay, stability and structural analysis, 
then validation of the data by statistical software, then their applications, applications as antibacterial activity against human pathogen, fish pathogen, MDR pathogen, as well as the next application is food by preservatives. So materials and methods phase one, we carried isolation screening identification of microorganism. So for isolation process, collection we collected the marine sample from the different area of sorry different area of coastal area of india then these samples enrich in a selective media for the isolation of bacteria yeast and fungi then uh, proceed for the screening process first is a primary screening and next is a secondary screening in primary screening we check their antibacterial activity by a garbell method and a cross strip method because uh, this bacteriocin shows the antibacterial activity so this process carried then in secondary screening those who gave the uh, highest spectrum against a pathogen this bacteria or this microorganism proceed for the secondary screening and in secondary screening we checked uh, probiotic properties named as resistant to low pH and tolerance against by salt. Then after that we got the potent isolate, uh, isolate and this potent isolate we proceeded for the identification of microorganism by molecular, biochemical, biochemical and uh, morphological characterization and then uh, we check their plasmid bearing uh, marker present in that uh, potent isolate for that purpose we carry the plasmid curing process by ethidium bromide and we check their antibiotic sensitivity test and antibacterial activity test before plasmid curing and after plasmid curing this is the phase first and the result of this phase first these are the different samples collected from the different coastal area, their geographical location, their pH, temperature, and turbidity. And from that sample, we got the number of isolates. These are the distribution. We got 18% of the yeast, 53% of bacteria, and 29% of the actinomycetes. Then uh, in a primary screening, by agar well method as well as the cross strict method we got the b25 uh, ha, show, has shown the highest antibacterial activity or spectra of activity against a pathogen out of that uh, out of 203 isolate we got near about only 20 active isolates and out of that 20 isolate b25 is a uh, b25 has shown the highest spectra activity these are the photographs, antibacterial activity, uh, Garvel method, as well as the cross strict method against these different five pathogens. And these pathogens procured from the primarily procured from the Jakta pathology biology. Then uh, next, uh, this uh, again potent pat uh, pat sorry potent isolates L43, B25, F25, A17 uh, proceed for the determine the antibacterial activity of uh, antibacterial activity against the mtt pathogen and out of this four b25 has shown the highest antibacterial activity against the klebsiella pneumoniae then secondary screening we got 20 isolates potent isolates so for the secondary screening we check their uh, stability in low ph bile salt and nacl concentration so out of that 20 isolate, B25 has shown the stability in a different properties of probiotics like resistant to low pH, tolerance to bile salt and NACL concentration. Then we conducted the biochemical characterization. Uh, these are the different biochemical process. And uh, according to this observation, we got the lactobacillus species and matched with the Burgess manuals volume two. Then these are the photographs of biochemical test. <coughs> then we carried the genetic analysis uh, by sequencing process. These are the sequence of strain B, uh, B25 and the phylogenetic tree of the strain B25. Then this sequence of strain was submitted to the NCBI gene bank and got the accession number KY131801. This lactobacillus species isolated potent lactobacillus species match up to the 97 percent 
of lactobacillus pentosus D, which is given in a uh, phylogenetic tree of strength B25. Then uh, we conducted the plasmid curing process for the uh, uh, found the plasmid in the uh, lactobacillus pentosus B25. And after that plasmid curing uh, process, we carry the antibiotic sensitivity test as well as the antibacterial test. So in a antibiotic uh, sensitive test, this back lactobacillus pentosus shows the resistivity uh, against 20 antibiotic in a before uh, plasmid curing. And after plasmid curing, this lactobacillus pentosus B25 lost their antibiotic sensitivity against the antibiotic. Then after, uh, again, same process carry antibacterial uh, activity of the lactobacillus pentosus B25 after plasmid curing. According to this observation, before plasmid curing, this lactobacillus pentosus B25 has shown the antibacterial activity against different pathogen. But after plasmid curing, this isolate lost their antibacterial activity. So, uh, according to this observance, observations, this lactobacillus pentosus B25 is a plasmid bearing isolate. So, uh, from this phase one, lactobacillus pentosus, we proceed for the further procedure that is the phase two. The phase two, in a phase two, we carry the optimization studies. In the optimization studies, we study the growth curve and then uh, physical chemical characterization that is we check the inoculum size incubation time incubation temperature ph initial and carbon and nitrogen source at which specific uh, uh, at which specific quantity uh, enhance the bactrocin yield then we uh, uh, we check the assay of bactrocin, that is, we determine the arbitrary unit per ml, and then we again conducted the optimization of nutrient medium for enhancing the bactrocin yield. So, different mediums are uh, nutrient broth, luria bertani broth, lactose peptin broth, lact glucose peptin broth, and D man robosha shark agar. From this uh, optimization of different media, we uh, determine the uh, which media is efficient for the enhancing of bactrocin yield. Then next, in the same phase, we conducted the optimization studies, that is the formulation of the nutrient media by using the black environment design, stiffest ascent pan, central composite design, and confirmation report. These different designs carried by using the different statistical software, Milita 14, and uh, design version. 0.9, 0.9 version. Then after that, we study the comparative between the basal medium and modified medium, Deman robusta sharp. And again, comparison between the standard strain, Lactobacillus acidophilus, which is isolated from the Darolax sachet, and selected strain, that is Lactobacillus pentosus B25. So results of the optimization process, according to the this observation, the highest <coughs> bactrocin production found at 2% inoculum volume, which is uh, statistically uh, significant by PRT test, that is the p-value observed 0. Point, less than 0. 0.05. Then in uh, optimization of incubation time, uh, highest activity was found at 30 degrees Celsius and minimum activity was found at 24 hours. And then uh, in a, uh, at a temperature, incubation temperature, highest growth as well as the bactrocin production was found at 30 degrees, uh, sorry, yes, uh, uh, 48 hours and minimum at found as a 6 hours. Then uh, optimum of pH value, the maximum biosynthesis level of bactrocin was found at pH 7 and minimum was found at the pH 9. Same procedure for optimization of concentration of NaCl. The growth and the production of bactrocin uh, was found at pH 2 and minimum at the pH, sorry, uh, at NaCl concentration 2 and NaCl concentration 5%. 
then effect of carbon and nitrogen source, the maximum activity of bactrocin production at uh, lactose and uh, peptone and minimum activity was found in a ribose as well as the ammonium chloride. These are all the physicochemical characterization of the uh, uh, different uh, components which was given the which component and which their specific value has given the uh, highest yield of bactrocin. Then next process selection of the media for the screening of a uh, different media bactrocin production. So we chose the different media and out of that the mangrogosa shop has, has shown the highest antibacterial activity as well as the bacteria in production which was again analyzed by the statistical software by PRT test and shows the statistical significant result uh, p value less than 0 0.05 <coughs> then next process is uh, statistical optimization of specific component carbon source then nitrogen source and uh, trace element for the carbon source we proceed firstly uh, placket vermin design uh, placket vermin design is used to determine the efficient factor for enhancing the bactrosy so uh, according to the physicochemical character, first uh, physicochemical characteristics, we got the lactose and the glucose are the both uh, efficient factors, but uh, we use again fructose and the sucrose and out of that four, which one is the efficient, this uh, give by the placket permanent design. In a placket permanent design, we set and run the 12 runs by using the low and the high value of these four, sugar, uh, four sugars and then uh, um, incubate inoculate incubate and we found the experimental results and this experimental result inserted into the minitab software and we got the predicted result and uh, after uh, yeah, after uh, using the software we got the effected effect uh, estimated effect uh, in a estimated chart we got lactose sorry uh, factor B and C that is the glucose and lactose has shown the value uh, P value less than 0 0.005 that is B, these both are the factors are uh, effective factor for enhancing the bactrosy yield. Then found the ANHUA. ANHUA shows the F value and the P value with the fist and Pareto chart shows the highest value of uh, uh, efficient factor and uh, lower the value of efficient factor. Then path of stiffness ascent. Path of stiffness ascent in generally depend on the placket government design result and on the uh, Packet Berman desired uh, result. We chose the two glucose, and this path of stiffness uh, ascent shows the neighborhood concentration of this both glucose. So we again set this path of stiffness ascent design. Then we got the uh, neighborhood concentration of the sugar that is near about 20.6 to the 21.08. So this concentration uh, proceed for the central composite design and central composite design is used for getting the efficient uh, or perfect concentration of the glucose. Yeah. And yeah. 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 Set, uh, then central composite design is design prepared by using the design expert software version 0 0.9 and then set the 13 runs to bed and find the zone of innovation then in a design uh, sorry in ccd we got the again anova f value and the p value and validation report in a validation report we find this type of the uh, levels glucose and lactose specific concentration of the sugar 20.40 and 20.72 and the prediction result is 17.5 after that we got the response surface plot and 2d counter plot these are the two plots for the give for uh, given the interaction between two sugars as well as this red color point shows the specific concentration of the sugars so uh, from this uh, two plots, we got the specific concentration of the sugar. Means this optimization process, we pro prepare the new media for the production of the bactrosin. So this is for the sugar concentration. Next same procedure for the 
nitrogen sources we use the near about nine nitrogens same proceed for the placket permanent design low value and high value uh, set uh, and run incubate and inoculate and insert in a statistical software then we got the estimated effect of nitrogen source then uh, ANOVA and in ANOVA we found the again F value and P value and in Pareto chart shows the higher value up uh, higher value to the lower value of the effective factor of nitrogen source so from this effective factor from placket environment design we got the peptone and is extra so proceed for the path stiffness ascent method and then proceed for the ccd design and in ccd design we got the specific amount or specific concentration of this with uh, efficient factors then in ANOVA, we got F value and P value. And in confirmation report, we got the specific level 10.9 and 5.53 of the peptone and its extras respectively with the prediction value or prediction report is 22.5 mm. Then these are the response surface plot and 2D counter plot shows the interaction between the peptone and the extract. And these two plots shows the uh, efficient concentration of the nitrogen sources. Same procedure for the stress element. These are the placket environment design for the five different stress element. Then <coughs> estimated effect, ANOVA test, and the Pareto chart. And uh, proceed for this uh, uh, two factors that is KH2PO4 and MNSO4 for the stiffest asset design. And uh, uh, from the stiffest asset design, we got the uh, neighborhood concentration of the two elements and after that uh, we proceed for the ccd for stre stress elements then we got the uh, anova and uh, validation report of the stress element in a level 2.20 and 1.13 concentration of the case to po4 mnso4 respectively used for the uh, concentration increase uh, used for the increase the uh, bactrosin production and their prediction result is 17.9 zooth of inhibition mm these are the two plots shows the interaction between the two trace elements and their specific concentration so according to this uh, very lengthy method near about six to nine months we uh, carried uh, placket verbal desires to it and the ccd and after that we got the specific modified media that components are glucose to lactose pepto, peptone is extra case to po4 mnso4 nacl and their different temperature uh, ph and uh, by comparison uh, by comparison we got the uh, Modified MRS medium uh, has shown the higher antibacterial activity than basal medium. So from this optimization study, this uh, modified MRS medium, lactobacillus pentosus, proceed for the next phase. Uh, and the next comparative study between the standard probiotic bacteria and selected. Uh, selected bacterial bacteria B25, we conduct the uh, antibacterial activity and then we carry the uh, probiotic, determine the probiotic properties, growth at low pH tolerance to the bile side out of these two uh, lactobacillus pentosus that is selected potent bacteria is has shown the highest active uh, antibacterial activity than uh, standard bacteria and uh, has shown the stability in a low pH and bile cell than the uh, standard bacteria. So this bacteria proceed for the further study. So next one is the scale-up study. In a scale-up study, we check the fermentation profile by the batch fermentation and the filled batch fermentation. So we carry the uh, fermentation process, use the 500 ml of the Modified MRS broth, inoculate the uh, lactobacillus pentosus B25, and then incubate and uh, uh, discard the 5 ml sample per 6 hours. And after 6 hours, we check their uh, different analysis, uh, uh, sample analysis. We can do the sample analysis by uh, check the lactic acid production, pectrosine production, then the pH. These are the different analysis we carry. Then same procedure for the failed batch fermentation. But in failed batch fermentation, we continuously, uh, uh, constantly stand or staple their pH, that is 
7 ph 7 and as well as we continuously add the sugar because sugar concentration is uh, uh, lower uh, at that uh, our 9 so see these are the results batch fermentation profile uh, after each three hours we check their different parameters ph od antibacterial activity protein concentration reducing sugars lactic acid and their biomass uh, after nine hours the sugars concentration decreases from 20 mg per ml so sugar concentration we already uh, we uh, inserted uh, in a fed batch fermentation uh, after nine hours and we maintain the ph in a fed batch fermentation okay these are the graphical representation and uh, all are statistically significant by one way ANOVA analysis. The next fed batch fermentation, I always told you, we maintain the pH up pH 7 and uh, uh, adding of the sugar concentration uh, 20 point 56 or 20, 25 uh, already always we add after nine hours or after three hours at the uh, maintain their sugar concentration that for all process carry for the only purpose how to enhance the bactrocin yield. These are the graphical representation of fed batch fermentation profile. Then next phase uh, production, purification and characterization. In a phase one, we got the lactobacillus pentosis B25. In a phase two, we got the optimized media. And in phase next, uh, sorry, previous phase, we got the scale up. That is a fed batch fermentation. So we carry, uh, we produce this bactrocin B25 by using this uh, different one, uh, modified MRS broth, lactobacillus pentosis, and fed batch fermentation. So purification by the ammonium sulfate precipitation, dialysis process, gel filtration, crop lithography. Then uh, we check the uh, we uh, check their characteristics by uh, by conventional method of uh, crude bactrocin, uh, pH, temperature, enzyme solvent, surfactant, metal ions, and NHL. That is the stability in that different parameters. Then uh, we uh, check their molecular characterization by HDS page, HPLC, and LCMS. Then we uh, analyze the structure by bioinformatics uh, tools using uh, name as um, Bactiphase, Rafter X, and uh, Ramphase. So this is the purification profile of Bactrosin B25 uh, in a ammonium. Uh, this one is the extract one, pH seven. Then extract two, we uh, this um, uh, check their stability at uh, heat stability at uh, 80 degrees Celsius. So uh, it is stable at 80 degrees Celsius. That is the extract two. Then proceed for the ammonium sulfate precipitate. Then dialysis process, gel filtration chromatography. Then in a gel filtration chromatography, we got a fraction two, uh, six minute in a minute six. There are 27 ml of uh, total amount of bactrocin found, and uh, their protein concentration is near about 7.8 microgram per ml. These are the purification profile. First one is the OD at 280 nanometer, highest peak found at 280 nanometer, then antibacterial activity. These are the photograph of the antibacterial activity of the different fractions, crude one, crude two, then ammonium sulfate dialysis, and the six minute gel filtration chromatography fraction. Then characterization of semi-purified bactrosin. This bactrosin is stable at which uh, pH, which surfactant, enzymes, all parameters we checked. Uh, so at pH 7, we have the highest antibacterial activity in a different surfactant name as STS 2080, 2020, acetone, chloroform, stable, and shows the antibacterial activity. But in the enzyme, pepsin, protein, SK, and uh, trypsin, uh, okay. But, uh, lost their antibacterial activity and uh, in a 6% uh, NACL concentration stable their activity. Metal ion, then UV treatment and these are the photographs of the characterization of conventional method of characterization of purified bactrosin. Then there is a molecular characterization of bactrosin. By FTIR analysis, we got a different uh, 
frequency values of the frequency which are predicted to the different uh, functional groups and this one is the sts phase analysis um, we got uh, their band is below a uh, 3 point kilo dalton see these are the these are the molecular marker and this band shows the below 3 point kilo dalton then in HPLC analysis, the highest peak found at 15 to 20 minutes, that is 15 to 20 minutes, shows the homogeneity of the protein, that is the presence of the bactrosine. And in LCMS analysis, highest peak found at 3136% intensity, that is the presence of the uh, peptide sequence uh, near about 49 amino acid. Then structure analysis by bioinformatic tools, Bactiface database. Uh, in a Bactiface database, the pentosine KCA1 similar sequence, nearly 77% of similar sequence match with the Bactrosine B25. This table, next table shows the physicochemical profile that is the presence and absence of amino acid, their isoelectric point, nature charge, all are given by the Bactiface software. Then physicochemical profile, this wheel chart, uh, alpha helical wheel representation shows the uh, polar, non-polar, all uh, amino acid. Then this uh, hy uh, hydrophobicity of the bactrosin B25, presence of the 49 residues are model, 49 positions are predicted as a disorder, then secondary structure and their solvent access accessibility. And this 2D structure, bactrosin B25, again shows by the rafter X bioinformatics software then we proceed for the quality control study and the application in quality control studies we check the mic ld50 toxicity as well as the stability then antibacterial activity against pathogens of MDR pathogens. In MDR pathogen, we firstly checked MIC and LD50 of amoxicillin and then combinational therapy of amoxicillin and the bactrosine. In combinational therapy, we kept the uh, constant concentration of the bactrosine and varying concentration of the amoxicillin. And from this, we checked the, uh, how to reduce or uh, reduce the amoxicillin. MIC concentration. Then we proceed for the application as a biopreservative. Uh, we used raw milk and pasteurized milk. In both of this milk, we use 5 ml of the bactrosine and check their parameters, different parameter that is coagulation, their pH, lactic acid formation, curd formation, resistant test, meth uh, methylene test, methylene, uh, MBRT test, methylene blue reductive test, all are checked. These are the results. The in a minimum inhibitory concentration, the MIC of production produce bactrosin against one AD of Klebsiella pneumoniae was found to be the two three four microgram per ml, and LD50 was found to be the five four six microgram per ml. And all are the data analysis by the uh, analyzed by using the one way analysis of variance. The next effect of bactrosine on a growth in human blood cells. So use the controlled and then next red color show the bactrosine. So we use the different concentration 20 microgram ml per uh, to the 160 microgram per ml. And after 160 microgram uh, microliter, there were no not found any changes in lymphocytes that is it helped it had shown the mild toxicity and their IC50 value was obtained as a uh, 160 microliter plus minus 20 microliter. Then we check the stability of bactrosine. The stability was found to be optimum storage, uh, temperature at 4 degrees Celsius for optimum stability up to 19 days. Then antibacterial activity of these different pathogens uh, in uh, According to this observation, we found 40% uh, activity has shown against uh, gram-negative bacteria, then 27% activity against gram-positive bacteria, 14% against MDR, 9% against uh, spoilage food and uh, fungi. These are the photographs of antibacterial activity. Then MIC and LD50 value of amoxicillin and bactrosin. See here, amoxicillin LD50 value was found to be the 95 microgram per ml. And here, LD50 um, value 
uh, of uh, factrosin is 625 microgram per ml now in combinational therapy we found the ld50 is 70 microgram per ml ld50 of amoxicillin means here separate amoxicillin shows ld50 is 95 gram per ml but in combination with the bactrosin reduce the ld50 of amoxicillin then application of bactrosin as a food biopreservative these are the different parameters and per day we check their uh, parameters that is coagulation order clotting alcohol test resistant test lactic acid mbrt and uh, uh, according to the observation uh, the raw milk extend their life up to eight days and same procedure for the pasteurized milk in a pasteurized milk uh, extend their lifespan up to 42 days these are all results and observations from the overall research work, uh, conclusion is this is the first report on the isolation of bactrosin producing lactobacillus species B25 from Tiruchillavaralam, which Tamil Nadu. Then lab isolate inhibited pathogenic and spoilage causing gram positive and gram negative bacteria. That is hence uh, bus is the broad spectrum activity. Then maximum bactrosin production was observed at 30 degrees Celsius, 18 hour incubation, pH 7, 2% NACL. The statistical diff, uh, experimental design proved that the efficient and the feasible approach for the optimization of media for enhancing the production of bactrosin by lactobacillus pentosis B25. Based on the conventional and the molecular level study, this bactrosin B25 falls under the class 2 bactrosin. This produce bactrosin B25 have a broad range of antibacterial activity uh, against gram negative and gram positive bacteria. This bactrosin B25 has shown the antibacterial activity against uh, MDR Klebsiella anemone, which is advantageous to control the multiple drug resistant bacteria. Again, we carry the combinational therapy of antibiotic and bactrosin was new method and the lifespan extended by using bactrosin B25 as a biopreservative in milk future prospects and recommendation, a molecular mechanism of action of bactrosin and quantitative structure activity relationship study. The combining two or the more strain of lactic acid bacteria for achieving the more desired application in biopreservatives of food and their products, study on toxicity and pharmacokinetics of bactrosin, further work on combination therapy of antibiotic and bactrosin against the MDR pathogen. These all are the summary that is first one isolation, then optimization, stay, uh, then strain improvement, scale up studies, production applications. Publications are paper publication, uh, all duration of a PhD time, paper publication nearly eight, peer review journal uh, four. Uh, in a UGC approval journal, there are three paper published, then NG, NCP and gene back publication two, conference proceeding two, and now patents are three. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for giving insight of your PhD topic. Now we uh, start question answer uh, session. Uh, if participants having any doubt, they may ask uh, through chat. Yes, please. Yes. Please. yes. Anyone? Dr. Bharti, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Oh, one minute. Dr. Bharti, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Am I audible? Very good. Very good work. Congratulations. I said congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Just wanted to know how you... Miss, what was the basis of choosing marine environment for isolating lactic acid bacteria? Yeah, yeah. Marine environment is a new area, and uh, in a marine environmental uh, microorganisms uh, has the ability to create uh, different types of the metabolites. So we chose uh, this marine area. But you will get very less uh, lactic acid bacteria population as such. Yes, sir. And you are. 
did uh, culture uh, based on sustenance only or you did additional methods also uh, yes sir your uh, south is spread out how did you conclude that your culture is lactobacillus pentosus ah uh, by sustenance uh, sequencing only or uh, you used any other method no uh, at that uh, at that time only sequencing but uh, now we try for the uh, genomic mapping mm -hmm. yeah, and you uh, did you do uh, the bio assay of your antibacterial substance means no, no, uh, doing uh, doing uh, doing sds page and then overlaying with the indicator bacteria uh, no sir not not that was, that was required yeah yes We will proceed. Yes. What temperature you keep uh, milk for this biopreservation study? Uh, it's a biopreservation uh, study for uh, freeze milk. Uh, sorry, uh, freezer temperature. Refrigerator. No, no. Ah, uh, yes, refrigerator temperature. Mm hmm. And you co-inoculate with pathogen or only the normal milk? Only normal milk. We control is only the normal milk, right? Yes, sir. You are sure that it kills the gram-negative also because gram-positive bacteria they don't kill uh, gram-negative pathogens. Uh, sir, yes. Uh, uh, we carry this procedure many times, and I got a uh, uh, grab feed against the gram-negative bacteria. Yeah, yeah. That is what you showed some uh, gram-negative. Usually, gram-positive bacteria they don't uh, bacteria in of gram-positive don't kill the gram-negative. Gram-negative bacteria, but uh, I repeat uh, repeat this type. Then the uh, again uh, we carry the uh, same procedure uh, uh, related to the antibiotic sensitivity test. But this, uh, we got the gram-negative against gram-negative bacteria. Good, good, very good work. Some questions are there on the chat box. You need not to read my questions. You can see in the uh, chat. Which one? The paper. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got it. Okay, yeah. Temperature yeah. milk was stored. Okay, please give the little more no, detail. That, that was my. Okay. Yes. Bacteria in tool. Bi bioinformatics tool. Now, yes. Uh, we use the Rafter X bioinformatics tools. We insert what the. Uh, Peptide amino acid sequence in that bioinformatics tool, and directly we got the two D structure. Then, can we get the presentation for the other? Yeah, this uh, slide is already available on a uh, slide share. is a class 2 class 2 lactobacillus pentosus because it's the hit labial how to calculate arbitrary unit per ml of purified bactrocin that how the specific formula sir already i have given in a so, uh, slide arbitrary unit per ml is equal to the uh, zone of inhibition uh, into the uh, volume uh, which are inserted into the and uh, into the uh, well and divided by uh, dilution fold fold dilution and we carry the two fold dilution so arbitrary unit per ml we got
in a phase two, uh, in a phase two is a optimization process. I didn't conclude that uh, bactericin. Uh, in a phase three, I concluded uh, antibacterial substance was a bactericin because uh, uh, at a time of a uh, optimization process, we proceed uh, for antibacterial test, but uh, uh, their uh, antibacterial test, their uh, pH always uh, keep seven and bactrosin is a protein in nature that is neutral so so we conclude the antibacterial substance was bactrosin site of isolation of yeah how plasma Uh, we carry the plasmid curing by ethidium bromide uh, uh, using the ethidium bromide concentration is the very lowest concentration uh, and uh, by uh, yes ethidium bromide concentrate we use for that uh, ethidium bromide concentration and uh, uh, it's a plasmid uh, you curing process is completed or not we check their antibacterial activity and the antibiotic sensitivity test after and before plasmid curing process what was the composition of placard vermin medium how it was designed yes uh, we conducted physical uh, physical chemical characterization that is the concentration of the sugar and nitrogen so we got a specific uh, sugars uh, if effective sugars but uh, for uh, uh, yes the out of that uh, uh, four sugars are specific sugars then this proceed for the placket vermin design and in the placket vermin design we use their low value at a high value and this placket vermin design generally based on the concentration of the basal medium so basal medium contains sugar value is 20 uh, gram per liter and this 20 gram per liter is the middle value so in a placket vermin design gave the low value and the high value of uh, uh, sugar concentration so this uh, minitab software minitab software prepare the placket vermin design there are the 12 runs and then after that we proceed this design or the specific chart which was given by the minitab software then next Please give the details about bioinformatics. Simply a uh, Bactiface database, Rafterx and the Rampage. Bactiface database uh, already related to the only Bactrosin and uh, Rampage has shown the their presence of the amino acid. And then Rafterx. Rafterx uh, is uh, used for the determination of the structure. No, no. Uh, for my medical use, uh, no bactrosin available. Uh, bactrosin is available only for the food preservatives. Secondary screening method is related to check the probiotic properties. Using the drug sensitive and drug resistant. Yes. Which one is the Jakta pathology bar. I got the MDR pathogens from the Jakta pathology bar. And uh, uh, Dr. Karad sir uh, gave me the total data regarding the multiple drug resistance bacteria or the pathogens. Is there any specific media maximum for the production? Yes. Uh, we already choose the which one is the um, Dayman Rokosa sharp agar is uh, specially for lactobacillus species. So according to this, we modify the media, modify Dayman Rokosa agar.
So continuing this work now again in your college or? Uh, uh, sir, I'm uh, yes, I'm trying for the postdoc, and uh, I continue my work only dry work related to the bioinformatics, some uh, pathogenic sequences with the bioinformatics, uh, sorry, uh, bio bactericidal peptides uh, combinations. Carry. Very good. And you had this uh, DST WS fellowship, right? Yes. In PhD. Yes, sir. For three years. Yes, sir. Very good. Hello, ma'am. Yes. Uh, you are interested to take that questions uh, because uh, uh, it is time up and uh, it will take time because there are many questions. So, if uh, participant, uh, you, uh, ma'am, you share your uh, ID, email ID, so yeah, yeah. they can personally contact you and uh, clear their doubts. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Please, as there are any questions, please mail me martyadekar at the rate tsdcmumbai.in. And uh, if you want a mobile number, can I type here? Okay, ma'am has shared uh, her email ID and uh, contact number also. Uh, participants, if you have any doubt, do comment here. Uh, for, uh, we'll get on uh, my phone contact. So uh, now it is uh, time to thank everyone. Uh, I thank uh, ma'am uh, for giving your time and. Uh, uh, presenting your PhD work and thanks to all other participants for joining us and making this webinar uh, successfully. So thank you everyone. Thank you ma'am. You may leave ma'am. Yes, thank you. Okay.